Hey, I kind of shot myself in the foot with my recording schedule, you know. Also, what all do we even have? I, I really feel like this isn't enough stuff. But there's, like, nothing else around, you know. Um, I, can't reach. I really shot myself in the foot a little bit with, uh... There's got, there's got to be more stuff, right? Is there really nothing else? There's pens, there's... There's, that's, that's kind of it, I guess. Yeah. How about that? That's really it, huh? There's nothing else in, is there something in the right cupboard? Right. Anyways. Not as good as left cupboard. Oh, shut up. So, I, um, <laughs> I, I kind of want to take the next week off, you know? Because it's Thanksgiving. Or I guess this is going up during Thanksgiving, so I would want to take the week after that off, you know. But, um, you know, then it's kind of weird. It would be better if I just didn't upload during Thanksgiving week, you know. Um, but that's not... I mean, I can upload. Anyways. Now I can go ah! To the property. Take Great! Society. I can freaking take a pen. Well... Toilet, cubicle philosophies. Um... And I, I'm not gonna lie, it's Thursday, I haven't even started on the song that I would otherwise put up on Saturday. Like, I, I know what I want to do with it, I have a better vision for it than, um, this isn't even a mark, this isn't even a pen, it's a marker. Uh, of course. This is kind of what I mean about Paradigm, there's only so many things you pick up, you know. Anyways. Hey! Artist, I'm artistic, but without the R. <laughs> which I guess would be artistic, which isn't a word either, but I think you know what I mean. I'm artistic, but with a British accent. Uh, yeah. Let's drink the water, why not? I can drink the water now, right? It's a perfectly fine. Nice. We did it, guys. We drank the water. You, I'll just refill. Will you know? Oh, well then. Haha, <laughs> I cut the cable. Enjoy drinking me, you sick bastard. You know it. Um. Get my drink on. Uh, so I think. Hour later. I think I, uh. Probably just gonna take a week off for the song. Part where he was screaming and, and then. Uh, the videos are probably gonna be okay. I might not have one the Monday after. After Thanksgiving. Just because, um, but that that also kind of works out in the end, anyways, because then it can be like a buffer between series. Where is there a leg? Oh, it's a severed leg. It's not just a. It's not just a leg that got stuck there. It's actually severed. Can't reach it. If only I was a noodle hands mutant. There's probably something else I could use. Uh, well, yeah, I bet you're right, Paradigm. Maybe so. Let's pick up the fire extinguisher. You never know when you could... Just in case I start a fire. Why even let me interact with it, honestly? <laughs> Be like if I could interact with that fly that's buzzing up there, you know? Ethernet cable. That's a lot of Ethernet cables. Is that typically how it is? Hey, uh, Ethernet people, please tell me in the comments if that's normal for Ethernet cables. It seems like a lot. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Anyways. Um. Oh. That's odd. Oh, really? I can play mini games. Oh. Well. Um. So I can fast travel then? Oh. Wow. This is this is so much better than the map. That's this is like infinitely better. I've got I've got like the old style Game Boy Advance. Welcome to the official This is the sickest thing Netflix. on earth. We'd like to dispel the rumors of being in a <coughs> company and take you on a wonderful trip. <laughs> Google every year since 2012. <laughs> uh ethics union. Anyways, case, we are not responsible for your painful. Oh my gosh! Accident. Emphasis on accident. 
for all you lawyers out there. Okay, well, Clark, yeah. Please step on the so, dot at the end of the hall when you are ready. Oh, okay, I can do that, sure. Is it gonna open up a, uh, a, uh, a, a freaking trap door or something? Anything? Oh, cool. You made it to the red dot without dying. Yeah, I guess the guy in the sandals was not. This concludes our tour of the Duper Genetics facility. Oh, sick. As a closing note, those cheap bastards couldn't pay for any more voiceover. Oh. How am I supposed to live on these terrible Does that mean the rest of the game is silent so I can just like commentate? That's pretty great. Unless you're not a big fan of the things I talk about. Any second. Oh. Uh, what? <laughs> what the hell am I listening to? <laughs> uh, maybe. Thank you again for attending the Dupa Genetics tour. He was the. Nice his was the leg, I guess. Wow. I feel like I didn't need to hear that, but hey, now I have a. Oh. Ugh, weird. It's the same kind like of room. Been here before. Well, there's no, there's no red dot on the, on the. You know, what games do we have? Oh boy. Post apocalyptic dating sim and endless existential runner. I mean, they both sound pretty damn good. Uh, you know. Maybe I'll worry about these things later. Oh! It's like only inside the. Huh. Well, that's odd. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I kind of want to check out the games, honestly. <laughs> it's going to be a chill couple of weeks, all right? I'm not trying too hard, even less so than normal. So, yeah, post-apocalyptic dating sim. Show me all the tumor-ridden baddies. I, I swear, I hope they have tumors in it. Go. Oh. Noodle Hands and Nelson. Sheesh. Uh, really good at grabbing things from far away. Yeah, I can see that, pal. Um, do I have to unlock the next ones? Tina Toaster, oh my gosh. That's, I think I, I might need to, I might need to do the toast. Jerry the Human Duck. Okay, these are our three options. I'm not going to lie, I like the toaster. Maybe we can take a shower together at some point. I think that that sounds really nice. Absolutely. What do you do for a living? Oh, um, I'm a handyman. You know, just in case she gets broken at some point. You know. What do I like to do for fun? I probably should have read the, her self-description. Polishing metal? Oh, absolutely. I love polishing metal. We should take a shower together, baby. That's actually exactly how I, how I uh, win women over, you know. Um, oh, I am a, a, a good cook, I would say. I'm, I feel like this isn't the right option, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, well. If I ever had rust, would this bother you? Oh, God, get that filthy oxidation away from me. Only, um, ah, what? Nothing like a bit of coarse roughness to grate away at my skin. I mean, I would love to use WD-40 on your rust. You know, just to help get that rust off of you, we should take a shower together. This is exactly how I how I sound on dates, actually. Um, if I asked you to, would you stick a fork inside me? Um, well, I would die, so no. Uh, Self-sacrifice is probably the most romantic thing you can do, so yes. Of course. Will you, your parents accept me? As a housewarming present? Probably. A cannibal raiding party ate the... <laughs> My mother is actually a blender. So yes. Um, oh geez, without a surge protector, I don't know, I'm, I mean... Yes, it feels much better. I wouldn't want to put you at risk. Yeah, always use protection kiddos, or your... your or your toaster might actually overload. And that's no good. You know, you wouldn't want an overloaded toaster. 
How long would it take for you to engrave your name and address on me? Oh. Um, well. Not, not into that whole owning an appliance thing. Weird. Well, uh, do we go for hardcore flattery or genuineness, I guess? I'll go depends on the appliance. May take up to a week. May take up to a week. What would you rather be in life? Uh, a toast-eating individual. I want to be... Um, I feel like there's no right answer here. I want to be normal, man. The other two answers are pretty much the exact same. But sure, okay. All-knowing being from the fourth dimension was probably the right answer. You got me. Are you happy with your life? No, not in the slightest. I mean, what? <laughs> uh, only when I'm making cheese toasties. Well, I haven't been... Yeah. Of course, the toaster likes that answer. My favorite game? Watching the toast. You know? Hide and seek leftover ammunition. What? Collecting appliances for scrap metal? Uh, let's not let her know that one. Oh. Okay, if I were an animal, I would be... I would be a lizard cat. Okay, not the right answer. Chelsea, is, is it healthy in a good relationship? I would say, uh, no. If it brings some spice into the hammock, yes. <laughs> um... Generally, I would say no, because it's an indication of, uh... Some degree of lack of trust. And... If it is unwarranted, then there's something wrong with one of you. And if it is warranted, then it is a sign of a an unhealthy relationship to begin with. If I lost my ability to toast, would you stay with me? Um, of course not. No more toast and I'm out. Toasting's not the only thing we can do. Sure, yeah, let's, let's act like I'm not here for only one thing, and that is toast, of course. What did you think I was dating for? Anyways, would you be offended if I used extension cables time to time? Um, I don't care. <laughs> I think you're beautiful with or without the extension cable. Absolutely. Do you like scary movies? Um... If it has a good plot. Honestly, yeah. Okay, not the right answer. You think I... Is everything about you? This is a freaking narcissist toaster. Worst thing on a first date? Getting your cock stuck in the toaster, honestly. Running out of fuel? Lack of bread to toast is obviously the worst thing on the first date. It, all of the toaster-related ones are the answer. I specialize in toasted bread art. abso freaking lutely <laughs> I'm trying to date a toaster to cover my loneliness. I get the feeling that's not the best answer. Open to trying new things? Absolutely, we should shower together. Um, sometimes. I went outside once. Anyways, I once ate a slab of cement. <laughs> okay. I'll say sometimes. Oh, come on. Usually on time or late. Oh, jeez. Um, um, I'd say on time. Very nice. Enough questions. Let's get into some foreplay. Oh my gosh. Toast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, mama. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna get spicy in this episode. Dear God, my heat setting is getting awfully high. Oh my! I will absolutely be showing the skills. We freaking romanced the toaster. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh! You gotta, you gotta like tease it a little bit, you know? You know, just kind of. Uh, Rub it around on the opening and then go all in, you know, deep, steep, keep it there a little bit and then start kind of like slowly, kind of, you know. Oh my gosh, I have toasted. I have, I have toasted bread. Oh my. Taking a liking to you, they'll toast your buns anytime, anywhere. You give them a good polish and tighten a few screws, few screws and you'll have a strong, committed relationship. Just don't go looking at any sandwich presses. Hey, you got it. Very nice, very, very nice. We did it, guys. We romanced the toaster. I think I'm gonna end it there, and I'm gonna end more than just the episode, because I think it's time that me and Tina 
hop in the bath. You know it, guys. We're going to see you next time then. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe. Or I might just have to whore out my new girlfriend for you to shower with. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.